hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how you can configure 40 NAC and your switch so that your domain users can be able to authenticate using 802.1x when they plug to a switch port and they can be able to have access to the production network which is the vlan you're going to configure and anybody that is not within your domain that doesn't have uh, maybe an account within your domain uh, when they plug to the same port Fortinac will take them to the registration vlan which is on our case vlan 99 and the production network is vlan 10. so now uh, so when you see this this is a domain user that has been connected and if i try to connect another device that is not within the domain it will take me to vlan 99. this is a way to control access to the port by using the 802.1x and Fortinac as a local radio server for your domain users so let me try and connect another device that is not within the domain and see the reaction that Fortinac would take looking at port uh, 14 would connect a different pc on port 14 that's not within the domain let's see what happens So I try connecting another device to port 14 and which is now within the domain and immediately this was plugged. You can see Fortinac recognized it as a rogue device and it, it immediately restricts access to the network by placing the device in VLAN 99 which is our registration VLAN. If you come to model uh, configuration you will see registration VLAN is VLAN 99 and our production VLAN is 10. So as soon as a device that is not within the domain pl was plugged on port 14, Fortinac, you know, restricted access to the device and, you know, place the device in VLAN 99, which is our registration and authentication VLAN. So the device will not have access to the network or any other thing unless we provide a level of access to them by giving them access to register or authenticate or any other mode. So I want to show you how this is configured and how we're able to configure it so that radius users within the domain can have access to the production network. So the first thing here is to make uh, the Fortinac a local radio server by joining into the domain and configuring something so i've done that in my previous video if you look at this which is how to configure fortinac as a uh, local radio server 802.1s authentication this is the part one so you need to check this video out uh, for the preliminary setup for that so after you've been able to do that making fortinac as a re local radio server then the next thing you need to do is to create a logical network so let's create a net logical network on the Fortinac so on the Fortinac the essence for logical network is to emulate the kind of network we have in our environment for instance you might have production VLAN and you might have VLANs that is for you no know, uh, contractors and you might have VLANs that is mainly for IoT devices on so this is just the logical network is just to emulate the kind of vlan or network we have currently on our net on our in our environment and for this environment we have a production network which is in vlan 10 so created a logical network for this after integrating your switch to the Fortinac, one of the things you want to do is to go to modal configuration then create the logical network that should be emulated here. So for instance, I can add more logical networks to this and also be able to, you know, reflect the kind of network that should be, you know, tagged to them. So for instance, I have the production logical network and I've assigned VLAN, access VLAN 10 to them, which means that anybody within the network that I have access to, you know, VLAN 10 would have access to my production network. And I set the additional radius attribute group to RFC VLAN. Then 
also enable radius authentication for this device uh, set your sh uh, shared uh, secret all this were dealt with in the first video then the next thing is to you know uh, check the dot one x uh, auto registration for this particular switch then you save then you also want to be able to go to the port or the ports so depending on the port you want to ensure that anybody that plugs the internet cable to it should you know be enforced to to, to authenticate using it to the Tonex or should be restricted so we chose vlan 14 as our use case for our use case and in this we go to group membership on vlan 14 then you enable a uh, first authentication and first registration then you also do check the reset first uh, registration then all base all base assets needs to be checked so all these are being put in the, into that group so that once this is plugged fortnap will understand the kind of device or persons of of device or you know of or host this is then another thing you want to do is to do the port properties under port properties you would also enable this as uh check the dot one x auto registration as on then you click ok so after this is done we need to go to the switch and configure the switch to create character policy so this is our switch that has been integrated so coming to the switch you want to create a security policy for for it to the, the one x so we add on straight to the authentication authentication radios and also configure this this has been dealt with in the previous video once this is configured you want to also go to the uh, ports switch or uh, switch ports the interface so in this case we are uh, configuring that port 14 to Android to the one x especially for uh, that level of authentication so port 14 will be configured so edit so on port 14 uh the security mode here will be assigned as 802.1x mac based then check mac authentication bypass eap true and frame apply all this will be checked and configured then after that you see the security group here this security group was the one we we set up at the other time where we integrated uh the 40 knock the 40 switch with the 40 knock using this security group so you, you select the security group and you click update so once this is done the next thing we want to do is to is to enable radio here on on the 40 switch so on the switch or any other switch you're using when you need to enable uh, the radius coa so you can do this by configuring a uh, config uh, user radius then edit so we are editing the the group the security group we created and we enable then set radius coa enabled enter then end so this has been enabled and would continue so on the fourth knock we need to also add, get access to the cli and also enable coa on this on the fourth knock as well on the cli on the fourth knock so on the fourth knock enter this command which is as it executes um enter share enter then put global option two then name radius server use coa then for disconnects then set to dash set then true so once you enter this command it will bring out new option added 
then uh, you have to end or exit so now this has been created and the next thing you want to do is to create a user profile so we want to create a user profile by going to uh, policy and object then user and host profile on our user node host profile we want to create a user node profile for the radius authentication user so when you uh, create one you can name it anything as radius domain users so for this we'll select where uh, they are connecting to we can select adapt adapters adapters means they are connecting using wired ethernet cables and all that then the under type we are going to select the radius alt type and we are going to select a total x check the uh, eap type as uh, pap then in a uh, eap or uh, type as ms sharp version 2 then after this nesting groups can be anywhere or it can be more granular but here yeah, we use any groups within the um, environment then where it has to be um l to wired uh devices which is part of the group that the switch we connected to is part of then you click ok so this has been configured as the uh, user and host profile then the next thing is to create the network access policy by creating the network access policy, this uh, recognizes that. So in this network access policy, you edit, then create the network access policy as radius users. Uh, then the configuration here will be the prod, which is, if you look at here, we have uh, the name as production, production network. And uh, the logical network we want to place anybody that authenticates with this radius is the production network, which is VLAN 10. Don't forget the model configuration we did on the switch. Then you click OK. So after you click OK, then you select the radius host profile that we created the, 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 the other time, which is this. And by the time you select this, this drop down to all and you know select by default then you click okay so once this is done the next thing you want to do is to enable uh, radius authentication on the client most especially on the windows uh, devices you're going to be connecting um, to the port so by doing so you can do that in two ways you can either use group policies to enable uh, wired auto config uh on on the device or you do it manually so so here is the machine i'm connecting to port 14 and if you come to this you right click and click open network and internet settings so under this you click on change adapter options so this is the ethernet network that i'm using to connect when you double click this when you right click and you click on properties so you click on properties you need to ensure that these settings is enabled and is visible here and this is what this is the 802.1x settings that needs to be enabled but if you look at this i push this by using the group policies from the domain controller to be effective here one of the things you want to ensure is that these are set and if you come to settings under the protected uh, eap you would see that the verify server's identity by validating the certificate is unchecked. We are, in, we are not using TLS in this case, so that's why we have to uncheck it and you click OK. To enable this manually from, the, from your system, you need to go to Services. You need to go to Services, click this, then look for the wired auto config it will be manual in some in some cases so you need to start it so this has been grayed out because this machine is managed by the domain so if the, your machine is not managed by the domain you'll see it and you can start the process and and, and make it an auto automatic you know startup so that whenever the system comes up the service runs automatically so you need to enable this and once enabled you need to set it up 
uh, the way I, I did it. And once that is done, the device can easily authenticate using a 22.1x. So once that is done, you need to now plug the device to network. So on the coming to network inventory devices. So once you plug this, you have a level of authentication and you would see 802.1x and mesh up and also the access VLAN is VLAN 10 and name is Boali. So by the time you come to host users and host and you see the device here and you try and look at the policy details. Under the policy details, you see this radius domain users is a profile name, radius users and the VLAN access is VLAN 10. Yeah, this works for us. Please let me know if this helps and watch out for the next video on the on Fortinac.